Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. In our previous video we saw that when we created a message box using the developer tab in Visual Basic there it is there that we could run the macro by clicking either run or the yellow, uh, the, the yellow, the green arrow or we could use the Excel button there and then in macros we had to say run. I'm a genius so no problem there but wouldn't it be handier to have a button on the worksheet itself which will perform that particular action. It's quite simple to do that I simply choose the insert command in the ribbon in a developer tab and choose a button there draw the button wherever you want on the worksheet and when you release the mouse uh, you'll be asked which macro do you want to assign to that particular button so there's my button and I can move it around drag it wherever I want and if I want to edit the text which I no doubt would want to do I'll right click and edit the text remove the existing text and we'll just say what am I and when we click away and now when I click on the button what am I? I am a genius OK now you'll notice this time when I click OK that I stay on the Excel worksheet I don't go back to Visual Basic to go back to Visual Basic of course I would need to click the command now just a very important point here when I reopened this file it reopened with the macro available that is because I saved the file as a .xlsm file that is the file is enabled for macros to do that all I did was I went simply to file save as told Excel where I wanted the file to be saved onto my desktop but in the savers type I had to choose Excel macro enabled workbook so remember that one because if you don't save it as an Excel macro enabled workbook then the uh, macro will not be available when you reopen the file so that's how I can assign a macro to a button thank you for watching don't forget to practice this one it's quite simple but it is really important because it enables me to <coughs> uh, bypass the extra work I needed to do to actually run the macro. <coughs> now the macro runs from a button to which that macro has been assigned. I'll be showing you later how to put macros up here in the quick access toolbar so that you can uh, easily run them from up here <coughs> without having buttons on the, on the worksheet. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.